A group of 82 students were surveyed, and it was found that each of the students surveyed liked at least one of the following three fruits, apricots, bananas, and cantaloupes. 39 liked apricots, 50 liked bananas, 39 liked cantaloupes, 21 liked apricots and bananas, 18 liked bananas and cantaloupes, 19 liked apricots and cantaloupes, 22 liked exactly two of the following fruits, apricots, bananas, and cantaloupes. And based on those facts on the previous slide, we need to answer the following questions. How many students liked apricots but not bananas or cantaloupes? How many students liked cantaloupes but not bananas or apricots? How many students liked all of the following three fruits? Apricots, bananas, and cantaloupes. How many students liked apricots and cantaloupes but not bananas? We're going to use a Venn diagram involving three sets to solve this problem. So let's go ahead and draw our Venn diagram on the next slide. And let's keep the facts straight. These are the facts from my question. I copied them here. A stands for apricots, B for bananas, C for cantaloupes. 39 liked apricots, so these four numbers should add up to 39. Fifty like bananas, these four numbers should add up to fifty. And these four numbers should add up to thirty-nine because thirty-nine people or students like cantaloupes. Now, let's go over one thing. That is, whenever you're drawing a three-set Venn diagram, a three-set Venn diagram splits your entire universe into eight disjoint regions representing eight non-overlapping areas and we need to find a number for each of the eight non-overlapping areas. The first three statements are pretty straightforward so let's see what we can do with them. What I did is as follows. 39 students liked apricots. So I put 39 for set A. 39 does not go here. 39 is the sum of these four numbers. 50 does not go here. 50 is the sum of these four numbers. And 39 for this 39, not this one. This one goes here. And this is the sum of these four numbers. All right? And you really want to get this. It's kind of important, otherwise nothing will make sense. All right. Now, 21 21 like apricots and bananas. This football should add up to 21. These two spots should add up to 21. Okay? Now, 18 like bananas and cantaloupes. These two areas of the football should add up to 20, 18. And 19 like apricots and cantaloupes. These two areas of this football, this and this, should add up to 19. Now the problem is, if we knew what goes here, we would be all set, but we don't. Uh, what we don't have is how many people liked all three. We don't have that. It says 22 liked exactly two of the following fruits. So 22 people liked two of them. These are the people who liked exactly two of the three fruits. So the last line tells me these three numbers should add up to 22. So what does that really mean? What can we do? How do we find out what goes here when it's not given? So what we're going to do, we're going to pretend, we're going to call this x. If this is x, this has to be 21 minus x. Okay, and this has to be 
18 bananas, 18 like bananas and cantaloupe. So 18 should be the sum of this football region. So this should be 18 minus 8. I'm sorry, 18 minus x, not 8. And 19 students liked apricots and cantaloupe, and we just said these two areas in the football, this and this, should add up to 19. And that tells me this should be 19 minus x. Now, I'm getting there. So, the last statement tells me this plus this plus this should be 22. I'm going to set up an equation and solve for x. And this is my equation. 21 minus x plus 18 minus x plus 19 minus x equal to 22. And we all know how to solve an equation like this. If you add 21 to 19, you're going to get 40. 40 plus 18 is going to be 58. So we're going to write 58 and minus x plus minus x plus another minus x is 3x is equal to 22. So 58 minus 22 is equal to 3x and 58 minus 22 is 36. 36 is equal to 3x or x is equal to 36 over 3 is equal to 12. So this tells me that the value of x is 12. Okay. So if that's the case, if x is 12, we can find the value of 21 minus x. We can find the value of 19 minus x. We can find the value of 18 minus x. Those are very easy. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to leave it here and write down these values really quickly. Let's see. Okay, let's move forward. So what we have from our previous slide that this is 12. And if this is 12, remember we had this was 21 minus 12. This has to be 9 because 21 minus 12 is 9. This has to be 18 minus 12 which is 6. This has to be 19 minus 12 which is 7. Well now we are almost there 39, we remember we talked about how these four regions should add up to 39. So if, if we subtract 9, 12, and 7 from 39, we're going to get 11, and that should go here. To find this number, we're going to subtract from 50 the sum of 9, 12, and 6, and we're going to get 23. To find this, the number that, rep um, the number that belongs to this region, or the cardinality of this set, if you want to put it that way, we need to subtract the sum of 6, 12, and 7 from 39, and we get 14. Now, if you would go back and look at the first slide and read the question, it clearly tells us that all the students liked one of the three fruit. So, what I have for this set is really a zero. Nothing goes here, because all the students surveyed liked one of the three fruits. So what we have a Venn diagram um, with all the numbers in the right places. What we're going to do now is use the same Venn diagram to answer the question that the question um, the, the, to answer the four or five questions that we have. So let's move on. Here are the questions. Here's the Venn diagram that we just filled out. So the first one says, how many students like apricots but not bananas or cantaloupes? That's another way of saying how many students liked only apricots. And my answer would be 11. So we're going to, for A, we're going to write 11. Okay. B, how many students like cantaloupes but not bananas or apricots? They liked cantaloupes 
but not the other two. And that tells me the answer should be 14. So I'm going to go ahead and write 14 here. Okay, how many students liked all of the three fruits? They liked all of the three fruits. That would be 12. So I'm going to go ahead and put 12 here. How many students liked apricots and cantaloupes, but not bananas? They liked both apricots and cantaloupes, but not bananas. That tells me this. Apricots and cantaloupes, but not bananas. That tells me the answer to part D should be 7. Here are my answers. Here's the Venn diagram. 